Uh, with me is at 10 degrees. Well, you know, we're past that. Next up is Barbara's 19 degrees prediction and my 20 degrees. I think we're going to get there too. Have faith. It is Monday, June the 20th. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and uh, so happy to have everybody joining us this morning. It is an absolute pleasure because today uh, we're going back to North Carolina. Gosh, we spend a lot of time in North Carolina, uh, but believe me, there is such a talented group over there. There really are and uh, kind of loving it. Really, really am. Especially to catch up with a good friend of ours, Dale Cole. Uh, coming today out of community service. I'm not sure whether he's been a bad boy or not. I've got to wonder about that one. But in the meantime, let me do this. Another Nindy Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music to watch it. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy, and let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, yes, and of course, uh, let's not forget Indie Music as well, you know, the magazine, Lazy Indie Magazine, absolutely brilliant. Uh, cover this this month, believe me, and so long. one of my finds, loving that too, doesn't happen often, it really doesn't, but in the meantime, uh, today we're joined by Dale Cole coming out of North Carolina, and with the band Community Service, I uh, never thought I'd fall in love again. You're right here at Galaxy. That gives us a moment or two. <laughs> hey, how you been keeping anyway, Dale? Doing, doing good. Um, we just had a, had a really great week this past week. Um, uh, Community Service we made our debut out on stage last Thursday. And... Um, opening up for a national touring act called the Minks, and it was really a great opportunity. <clears throat> and then I went to Virginia on Saturday to see my favorite band in the world called the Mavericks. And then on, on Monday, I uh, drove to Raleigh in North Carolina and saw Jason Isbell and Cheryl Crow together, and it was just been a really good week for me. Nice, nice. Wow, um, busy, busy. Is Fafayette anywhere near close to you? Who? Fafayette. Louisiana? Yeah. It's about a 12-hour drive. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, away. Uh, the, the reason why I asked that is um, somebody asked a question from there earlier on this morning, and I thought, you know, that sounds like it's pretty close to where Dale's coming from. So It's in Louisiana. Right, yeah. thought I was a bit of a border off. <laughs> Over the state lines. Mm. <clears throat> dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Just waving to everybody. Oh, is that what you were doing? Mm, yeah. I see. Oh, hi, Franco. Oh, Franco's on board. Yeah. Nice to have Franco on board. Um, this morning, Franco, we got the uh, hi, box Glenda. and CD from uh, uh, over the uh, from Jonathan, Morgan Heritage too. family. Yeah, if from you know Jonathan. Right. Yeah, awesome. Going to be a great read. I'm looking forward to reading those books. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today I'm joined by Dale Cole, today featuring of course community service and uh, never thought I'd fall in love again, I've got to ask about that, 
uh, but first of all, welcome back to Gunsydale. How are you? Thank you. It is a pleasure to see you again, my friend. You're looking well. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, of course, it is a special day over there right now. It's being Father's Day. That's, I keep getting all these phone calls from people saying to my kids. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be careful of that one, I really, really would. Uh, you, never, <laughs> you never know, especially with, um, well, you know, people who tour around one of these days. I'm expecting a phone call or two as well, i got to be honest with you. I go, who the heck is that, really? Uh, now, never thought I'd fall in love again. Now, uh, let's refresh our audio audience's memory. Uh, tell us a little bit about this track. Yeah, I... Um I went through a breakup, uh, separation with my wife a um, year ago, and uh, we kind of, you don't know what's going to happen from there on out, you know, and, and uh, I was out, I met someone that um, I kind of liked, and I wrote this song about where, where the relationship was going, and, and um, it's, you know, you don't ex expect it at this point in your life to be where I'm at, you know, so it's just kind of you know, uh, I find uh, relationships come from the strangest places at the strangest times, a lot of the time. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, and believe me, just when you're getting over something, you're thinking, okay, that's me, I'm going to be done for a little while. Uh, right. Bingo, it hits you smack in the face and you go, how the hell did that happen? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's happened to me a couple of times, I've got to be honest with you. So uh, uh, all my ex-wives don't like me now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't say why. <laughs> yeah, b believe me, all my ex wives don't like me now. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, now, here's something rather, rather interesting. I was reading this about you before. Cole attended his high school dance. He heard the band play CCQ by CCR, of course, remember that one, a classic, and you had to play music in the band. Uh, been a while, I presume, since you've been to high school? Uh, yeah, I graduated in 1976. Oh, it's been a few weeks then. Okay, I get that. Uh, this is rather interesting because the other day, I've got to be honest with you, uh, normally I don't pay any attention to my phone or anybody getting in touch with me until it came up with my old high school. And it goes, we're celebrating our 100th year, would you like to attend? <laughs> it's like, I'm not 100. Not <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I want to celebrate my... Uh, I, I feel it some days. I, I feel a hundred some days. Uh, yeah, I do that every other day. I've got to be honest with you, uh, especially with the work I'm doing with computers and stuff like that. My goodness, it can really, you know, make you feel like you're 120. Uh, oh, yeah. But, you know, would, would you go to your high school reunion just to celebrate their centenary? We, oh, I had our, we had ours like last September and I did not go, so, you know. Now, tell, I don't know. tell me why you didn't go. Uh, I was kind of a, a, a rowdy boy in, in high school and um, got, got saved a lot of trouble, you know, playing the music, playing the band and stuff like that. And uh, most of the people there were there to study and, you know. <laughs> So, kind of a... so, Dale, you were just like me, right? I guess, yeah. Yeah, believe me, uh, I'm kind of apprehensive about going back because I think I burnt a lot of bridges there when I was younger. Oh, um, but, you know, at the same time, I'm kind of curious. I, I want to see how other people turned out, you know what I mean? Sure. It's, it's got that curiosity factor going, so uh, I'm thinking I might just turn up not with the attitude, of course, of stirring anything up, like, right. you, know, sure. like you know, when I was in my younger years, I'd love to do that. Uh, right. But I'm a little bit older in the tooth now, to be very honest with you. But I'm very curious about how the uh, town itself that I grew up in, how the oh, sure. uh, community has moved on and uh, how times have changed. Of course, there's a number of things like the cement works doesn't work anymore, that's gone. Uh, the coal mines, I think, are only just hanging in there by the skin of their teeth. Uh, and right. how everybody is still going. And who left and who came back. You know what I mean? Right. So, uh, I do. for me, it's just, I'm curious. <laughs> I've, got, I've got several of my friends from high school that we still communicate all the time and actually get together and talk. You know, those are my friends. And, and uh, 
young people pretty much never left the town. You know what I'm saying? The ones that be going to the school and, and um, you know, just big cultural difference. Yeah, believe me, I, I know exactly what you mean. There's a number of people uh, still in the same town I grew up in, never have right. left, uh, don't really know what they're doing or anything, which is going to be interesting to find out. Right. Uh, but the cu curious thing about this, and I've got to be honest with you, it was about a year ago, uh, I got a text from a lady who says, hello, I used to go to school with you. And I went, really? Who are you? <laughs> I didn't, re didn't remember for a, a, a minute, you know what I mean? I had no idea who she right. was. Uh, but as we pieced it together, you know, the jigsaw of past and present, uh, I now I now remember exactly who she is, if you know what I mean. And uh, she's, uh, well, she has a lot to do with the town that I'm in. Even though she doesn't live there herself, uh, she still right. keeps connections with everybody in, in that town. So, uh, believe me, I'm very, very interested in seeing just very cool, you know? what's happened. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, it's been such a similar... Uh, I hadn't been back to my high school since 1979, uh, and uh, they had... There, I was in the drama class, drama club there, and I was on, last time I was on the stage in that school was 1976, and I was Winnie the Pooh in a, in a play production, <laughs> and um, they uh, had a, a musical production a couple of month, weeks ago of uh, Little Women. It was a musical, and I got one of my friends that I went to high school with. We both went. It's the most remarkable thing I've seen in a long time. I was so happy I went back. It was great. Very, very cool, and I want to talk to you about Winnie the Pooh. Very, very shortly. I've got, got something I want to talk to you about there. Uh, but first of all, oh, have you seen the uh, floods that are happening in India this morning? Very, very devastating over there. Uh, they either think it is hell or it's high water, if you know what I mean. So right. good segue into releasing a brand spanking new song for Dale Cole and the community service. Tell me about hell or high water. Uh, it's another one. It was... Um it's about being a rock and roll band, being out on the road, and you know how how, how life is, and uh, you got somebody back home that you really miss, and, and you're counting the days down you can get back to her, and you know when when the tour's over, nothing's going to hell or high water's not going to keep you away, you know. I get it, I really do, and I got to be honest with you, we have been playing it, and there has been quite a bit of interest behind it, Dale. It really, really has. Uh, Very awesome. People are starting to get on board with this track. They really are. So, right here, right now, joining us live is Dale Cole coming out of North Carolina and the band, of course, Community Service. You're right here at Galaxy. Here's Hell or High Water. <laughs> Dale, I was talking to a... Well, I went round to go and have a few beers with a mate of mine, all right? Um, his grandson comes into the garage where we're, it's like a man cave, right? Right, okay. And I've got another one about a man cave that happened as well. But this young young boy, can, couldn't have been more than four or five years of age, comes in and he goes, Granddad, tell me about poo. <laughs> right? And of course... <laughs> Granddad thinking about this for a little bit. He went through the whole digestive system and everything else, you know what I mean? And right. the, the whole deal. And this young kid sitting there looking really confused and he looks at his father and goes, So where did Ehor come from then? Dear idea, it was funny to watch, I've got to be honest. Kids say the darndest things. Oh, they do, they really do. His wife comes out to him and says, this is your man cave, right? And he goes, yeah, that's my man cave. She goes, well, what do you call a woman's version of a man cave? And he goes, the bloody kitchen. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely wrong. And you laugh. Yeah, but it's funny. It happened. It really does. I hang out with some crazy mates. It'd be more like the shops. Yeah. For me. The shops is your man cave. Mm. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Well, you're an Olympic shopper, Barbara. <laughs> I get it. you got to keep up, you know. Got to do it. I am. Don't want to lose practice. Oh, well. Yeah. Here, Andy. Back to Dale. How many countries? Um, well, eight, nine. 
That's not bad. 189 countries are tuned in. Excuse me a second. Asthma. Uh, it's a bugger at this time of the year, I'm pretty sure. You had it all your life? Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody introduced me to smoking cigarettes as well, so. Uh, yeah. I bless them. <laughs> you should get them up. Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today we're joined by Dale Cole coming out of North Carolina. Uh, Sean Simpson, sweetheart, nice to have you on board from Rockford, Illinois. Uh, absolute pleasure to have you on board, it really, really is. And we must catch up very shortly, talk about your dad, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Dale, we are going to have to wrap this up right now. But I thank you so, so much for joining us. Uh, do we have anything in the uh, in the mix coming up? Any time soon? I'm going to the studio Tuesday to record a new song, so you'll be getting some stuff soon. Very cool, because believe me, I think you're becoming prolific now. I like that. Thank you. Uh -huh. coming. I wrote four songs this week, so it's, it's coming pretty quick. You know, wow. loving it. Loving it, loving it. I really, really am. And always a pleasure to catch up with you, my friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate all you do for us over here. Well, believe me. Uh, we need you to continue doing what you're doing, um, otherwise I don't have a job, okay? Okay, you're saying we're codependent. Yeah, that would be <laughs> it. That would be it. Uh, Sean Simpson says, thank you so much. Happy Father's Day. Well, same to your father, if you know what I mean, Sean. It really, really would be a pleasure to be able Hi, to shake Sammy. that man's hand, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but in the meantime, Hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, don't forget... We will be back, not tomorrow, but the day after. And believe me, there's some very, very interesting interviews coming then. Stay safe and drive safe, okay? No drinking and driving. And uh, don't forget, pay the insurance on your car. Another Henry Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV. Big record and Sony Music. I've been watching these guys.